What's up? My name is James with P2F Fighting, and let's get into this question. All right, so I got a question on Quora, which is the, the uh, platform that I seem to be getting the most requests from. Uh, the question was, are there any Western martial arts? I get that you would think there aren't many because we don't really talk about them too much. A lot of what we see is around here is karate, kung fu, taekwondo, muay thai. You know, these things are, they're all Eastern. But I did some research. There are plenty of Western martial arts, but the weird thing is that a lot of them have faded over time and some of them are making a resurgence. You know, so I'm going to talk about some of these styles. I probably don't have them all, uh, but I researched what I could. And I'm trying to find ones that might be relevant today. Obviously, your number one most popular, I would say, Western martial art is, is boxing. Boxing is a Western style. This wasn't made in the East. This was made in the West. It's just this fighting, boxing. Boxing is... Very Western. So that is your first one that's uh, considered Western. So Western is going to be anything that is European or in the Americas. So not in your Asian countries, not on the East. All European and uh, Americas. So then you're going to have uh, probably the oldest style is wrestling, Greek wrestling. Uh, they had... Looking at my research here, you know, they've had uh, pictures on walls and research on wrestling from 600 B.C. So, so far, that's the oldest documented martial art because I consider wrestling a martial art. But if you don't want to consider wrestling a martial art, oh, my fault, it wasn't wrestling. My fault it was pancreation, 648 B.C., pancreation, which is a mixture of of boxing, wrestling, kicking, holds, joint locks, chokes. It's all kind of stuff. Pancration is somewhat like mixed martial arts. You're using everything. Based in Greece. Like I said, boxing, wrestling, kicking, holds, joint locks, and chokes. What do we do now in mixed martial arts? That's pretty much what it is. Well, pancration is from 648 BC. That is... The oldest known uh, fighting manual that was found was found on pancreation. Then you have boxing, which is the most popular, I would say. Uh, then you have this one style called hoplomachia, which is a gladiator style. You know, there were gladiators in the West, and so they had their own styles of fighting. And the Viking swordsmanship. I noticed in my research there are a lot of sword styles, a lot of fencing in every country, Italy, France, Spain, England, they're all over. Fencing was everywhere. Uh, then there were traditional styles of fencing, and then as people got, uh, as, as the classes separated, then there was royal level fencing, which wasn't like the commoners, huh, huh, you know, and then there was common vulgar fencing. That wasn't as good. And you notice in the Olympics, there's fencing. And I've looked into how much that costs. It's still a royal style. It's hard to find, and usually in European countries, and it's not cheap. So fencing is another big one. Uh, sambo, which is Russian uh, grappling. I said Viking, Hoplaka, okay. Stick fighting. There were a lot of stick fighting styles. Uh, there was a few in Ireland, one called Bata and Shililoff and single stick fighting. These are all cane style. They walk with a cane and you learn how to fight with a cane. There was a French style of stick fighting that is very much like fencing. Like they were the same gear. I couldn't pronounce the word, so that's why I'm not telling you. I, I couldn't pronounce the word. Uh, if I find it again, I'll stick it in the video. But... Yeah, they wore the same as fencing, and they had a light cane, and they used it like like a like a rapier. 
but it was a cane. And so all these styles that I just named are all stick fighting, but it's not like uh, Eskrima or Kali. Like, it's not like that. These are cane styles with canes. And so they learn how to use canes to fight. And a lot of the upperclassmen had canes, and they learned, you know, how to fight with those canes. Folk wrestling. Wrestling is all around you know, Western style catch wrestling is what's current right now. There's catch wrestling uh, in several places. I really want to take catch wrestling because what I've seen, they call the dark side of grappling. They use a lot of pain to make you submit. It's just pain, pain, painful styles. Looks very enjoyable to learn. There was a style called Bartitsu which is another Western style. Boxing, cane fighting, savat, jiu-jitsu, but this is not, uh, this would probably be a mixture of Asian jiu-jitsu somehow. Yeah, boxing, cane fighting, savat, and jiu-jitsu. It died off, this style called bartitsu, and it's making a comeback since 2002. It's made a comeback. Another Western style of mixing of many styles. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, Combat Hopak is a Cossack martial art from Ukraine. Fist fighting, wrestling, saber fencing, and Cossack war dancing. So they mix that in as well. Uh, what I have noticed, these are all the ones that I have found so far. I never looked into uh, African styles of fighting. I know that the tribes of Africa also had fighting styles. That's how they beat, uh, like the Zulu, that's how they beat some of the Europeans who had guns and they didn't and they still beat them. And I haven't looked those up yet, so I'm going to look those up and I might make a part two to this video of uh, continuing on. I don't know if you consider Africa Western, but what I'm trying to point out here is that most people consider martial arts all Eastern, all Asian. But Europe, as I've just named to you, had many styles. Europe, Russia, Americas, I believe the Native Americans even had fighting styles. And the Africans too. So I may look up some tribal styles as well because it's kind of an interesting subject. This question really got me looking and I got really into it. Uh, but what I noticed here is that a lot of these styles are mixtures of many styles. So we have mixed martial arts now, but... Like, for example, like I said, Bartitsu, boxing, cane fighting, savat, uh, you know, uh, uh, combat hopak, which is fist fighting, wrestling, saber fencing, and war dancing. Like, these styles are, they're mixtures of other styles. And so, it's very interesting that mixed martial arts, which the UFC made a popular in 93, like, made kind of a comeback which was, you saw how crazy, if you watch UFC 1, 2, and 3, those were just anything goes, punch into the groin, I mean, everything, every, everything was going, yeah, dudes with a boxing glove in one hand and no boxing glove in the other, like, it looked very primitive and vulgar, but way back in the day, they already had all these mixtures of styles, these are mixed martial arts, Hopak, Fist fighting, wrestling, and saber fencing, and war dancing, this is mixtures. You know, Bartitsu, boxing, cane fighting, savat, jiu-jitsu, it's a mixture. These are mixtures of styles all coming together and making a name for it. It's the same thing as mixed martial arts. So anyway, I'm going to continue this. I may do a, I think I'm going to do a part two next week on this one because this is very interesting. I'm going to look up uh, maybe tribal styles, African and American more. This was mostly European. There wasn't a lot of historical records on American styles because obviously America wasn't discovered till after Europe and all that. But I'm going to keep looking. But this is very interesting. So, yeah, there are plenty of, of uh, European styles. So uh, European and uh, just Western in general. There are plenty. So, you know, this that that's what I got so far. If you know any more, hit me in the comments below. Like and subscribe. 
holla at your boy.